hey guys welcome back to another video welcome if you're new don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video um i took a little break as you guys know in my last video i did mention somewhat of like a little break just getting myself together but most definitely now i feel like i haven't posted in a while it's been about two weeks since i uploaded a video and to me that's a really long time to keep you guys hanging and i'm super excited to show you guys this new collection from a cart this is their new disco collection i know you guys have seen it from other content creators and everything because like i said i'm super late but late is better than never so I'm going to be showing you guys this in today's video. And this collection comes with so many new poly gels and gel polishes, acrylic powders. And this was sent to me as PR so thank you McCart for sponsoring this video. Um, so I'm just going to start by taking everything out of the box and as you can see it comes with so many poly gels like I was super excited to get into them. Um, I'm going to start with the gel polishes first so I'm just going to push back the poly gels and get started on the gel polishes. So here are what the gel polish bottles look like. I really love McCart's packaging. I say that in every video um, but I'm just going to show you what they look like up close and like I said this is a disco collection so these are like very shiny, very sparkly, glittery and just so so gorgeous and I feel like these are super bright and pretty colors for the springtime. And by the way, you do get eight gel polishes in this collection. At the time I was unboxing this, I did know like these gel polishes were sold out. But now, since it is like two weeks later, um, I do believe they are back in stock. I will leave the McCart's website down below if you guys want to check them out. And of course, you always can use my 15% off discount code to save some money when shopping with McCart. And speaking of the McCart's website, you really have to like just go on there like frequently because I know sometimes when I go on there like just randomly, they always pop up with new items that like there wasn't a bit a big launch for. And I'm just like, wait, when did this get here? And it's just like so pretty. Like I know now they have like some new glitters and everything. So yeah, just be sure to check out the McCart website if you would like to see what type of goodies they have and new items. So there was all of the colors up close and now I am going to be swatching all of these colors for you just so that you can see what they look like. Like I said, I do know most of you may have already seen it, but just bear with me. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and swatch it just in case you haven't seen them. And also just because I took the time to do it, I'm just not going to edit that out. But yeah, these were so easy to go on to the swatch. You can feel a little bit of the texture since it does have like a lot of glitters, which is not really a problem. But of course, once you add on another layer or add on a glossy top coat, you won't be able to feel it just in case it does bother you or you don't really like that textured feel to it um i can't really tell you if it felt texture after i cured it because i don't i can't remember if i like rubbed it and see after the first cure but i do know like as i'm applying it i do feel a little bit of texture but like i said adding on a top coat will solve all of those and so yeah these are some very pretty colors i'm really impressed on how like pretty these are and like super reflective <laughs> and this raspberry sour was the last color i'm going to be swatching and this is the first coat um it kind of looks like jelly colors but with my hand behind it you can see like the reflectives a little bit more and it becomes like a little bit more opaque compared to when i don't have my hand behind it but i wanted to show you guys what a second coat would look like so i went ahead and did a second coat off camera and this is what they look like super gorgeous and then i also did add on a top coat to this so that you can see exactly what it will look like and like just look at those little sparkles like it was just so reflective already and i only have on my ring light and like another light behind it but of course with more like flashlight it would be able to sparkle a lot more but see, so now getting into the poly gels. This is all of the poly gels. I do believe there was like 12. I'm not sure. Um, but I'm just going to open one on camera just because they all came packaged the same. I just wanted you to see. Here's what it looks like. It have like a little sticker swatch and the name on the um, front. It says nail extinction gel 30 
milliliters and then it has the ingredients the cautions and how to store it and then it also has a suggested curing time which is 60 to 120 seconds i usually cure it for 30 it works for me and of course they all came sealed to prevent leakage in the packing which package and which is super um nice so i'm just gonna go ahead and swatch these um i didn't do swatch sticks just because it's so many and i usually swatch my poly gels on like the lint free wipe and show you but that would have been way too small so i got an index card and i'm just gonna be swatching them one by one on the back of that and then once i finish swatching them i will show you guys what they look like but before i get too far i do want to welcome all of my new subscribers i have been gaining a lot as you guys know um long hair pretty nails recreated one of my nails i will leave that video up in the cards just in case you want to check it out again or if you haven't seen that video but long hair pretty nails um she recreated my powerpuff girl nail set and a lot of people was like tagging me and commenting on my videos letting me know which trust me i've already seen i have on her post notifications so trust me i was one of the few people who watched that video and like it just felt so surreal that she noticed me and like just her saying like nails by key i was just like smiling the whole time like just basically fangirling over that whole situation honestly i'm super honored that she picked my nails to recreate and like it was just a special moment because i look up to her like i just really admire her and what she does so it was just like a really surreal moment so yeah back to what i started saying i just want to welcome all of my new subscribers and thank you for all of my returning subscribers that have once again clicked my video to watch it and come support me and just hang out with me for 24 minutes um so yeah this is like the last of the poly gels i didn't realize i would be talking for this long but yeah these are what the poly gels are looking like and i'm going to be showing you in a few seconds under a flash or try to get them under flash to see i mean to show you what they look like because when i filmed this video the sun was kind of going down um i was kind of procrastinating on doing a video but i was like let me go ahead and do it and i started this video like later in the day but you can still see what they look like super gorgeous i went ahead and cured them for 30 seconds and this is what it looks like and as you can see here a little bit i did try to use like my phone light to kind of show more of what the reflectiveness would look like you kind of get a glimpse of it but my phone i was recording on was in the way but then i did take them outside to show you what they look like in the sun like i said the sun was going down a little bit but you still can see and guys look at these gel polishes like these are just so stunning they look super smooth by the way like i was just super impressed and honestly i didn't know what to do um like i was just like so lost but as you can see here i do have my nails on oh yeah and also one thing that i was like kind of waiting for to before i start doing another video um if you follow me on instagram i did like post on my story that i messed up my nail and it was basically like a hole in my i don't want to say a hole but i basically messed up my nails to where i couldn't really glue on a tip and so i was trying to wait for the nail to grow back out and during this video it was like grown out to the point where it wasn't really sensitive anymore so i was able to glue on a nail tip um these nail tips are these the little ones from secret nail affair i will have them linked down below if you are interested i like these because they are so pointy and like i don't have to do any filing just apply them and start to apply my product but once i had all of them um glued on i am going to be adding a little bit a little bit of face coat on my nail bed area and a little bit down where i glue on the nail tip since i am doing the peel off pop off method um Adding the base coat and curing it just adds a little bit more strength to when I file. They don't really pop off as easily. So once I applied the base coat, I did go ahead and cure for 30 seconds and now I'm going to be taking this Club Revolution color which is a pretty purple and don't mind the top, it did get a little bit messy because I started something and I didn't like it so I had to restart it. But I'm going to be starting off with this purple and I wanted to go for something simple. Um, this is like my third attempt of trying something with this collection because I feel like 
I tried to do like a little too much and then since it is like very reflective the colors started to clash and you couldn't really see the designs on it and I haven't really been watching like a lot of YouTube videos either like I haven't just been where I needed to be like I've just been all over the place but I did see a few of these videos or like some designs on Instagram and I felt like a lot of the designs I seen with this collection was like the same almost or they had the same concept which made them similar and I didn't want to do that so I'm just gonna play it simple play it safe and just do something very very simple um, I'm gonna be doing three of my nails full coverage of this purple color I did pick the purple because it was my favorite color I didn't use the gel polishes in this video but I will use them in another one because I really really love those um, I can't even pick a favorite like all of these were just so pretty but yeah, I did pick the purple because it's my favorite color and I went ahead and cured on my first layer I'm using 91% ice purple alcohol as my slip solution as always um, and then yeah I just go in with a second bead just kind of building up the apex I seen a video I never can remember who I seen it from but um, they mentioned that you don't have to encapsulate these like if you was to like file over it you won't really mess up the glitters or the um, design with them so I was really taking that person's word and so I'm just building these up with the actual color and as you can see I'm finishing off like this last bead as always I never have any problems with Macar's poly gel as you can see the apex from the side is looking really nice and I'm just gonna fix this little bit right here at the tip and just kind of fix them on the side and this is what the first nail looks like I feel like I could have got like the sides and like the top of the sides a little bit more smoother but this is what it looks like as you can see it's looking like very sparkly already and honestly I can't wait to see the end results um but I just went ahead and cured that and like I said I'm just gonna do something very simple and I'm gonna be doing I'm gonna be doing two other nails like this doing the 2B method and also doing these the little snails make them so much more easier because you just bring both sides down to a point and you don't really have to work that much that's why I love doing the little nails and these nail tips from Secret Nail Affair just made it a whole lot easier because they were perfectly shaped I didn't have to do a lot of fouling at all but I'm just gonna let you guys enjoy the rest of this part and I will come back once I finish doing my glitter nails since I don't really want to like do too much talking but yeah if you are still watching up to here I do want to say thank you and if you haven't liked the video already make sure to go ahead and like it and if you haven't subscribed yet please make sure to hit that subscribe button it will really help me out a lot So now that I cured my last glitter nail, I'm going to be using the white. Um, I didn't go for another like glitter color from this disco collection. I don't know why, but I just wanted to do something like different. 
um i got this white poly gel from my car and i'm gonna be also doing another full coverage solid nail on my ring and thumbnail and this white was a little bit softer than like i'm used to from a car i think it has something to do with like the pigment but i think this is like the only color that gets that gets soft like this at least for me anyway um it was a little bit harder to work with it wasn't impossible but it was just a little bit softer than what i'm used to from a car but i must say this poly gel was really white it didn't turn yellow in the light like it stayed super bright white and i just love it so much like this is honestly hands down the best white poly gel that i've seen and my car also has the best black poly gel the boba color that just launched a few weeks ago i feel like that is the best black poly gel i've used i have used one from savvy land i did like a video like back when i first started my youtube channel that poly gel was just like so see-through and like it had a lot of scratches on it i'm not sure why but maybe i had to encapsulate it i don't know but it was terrible i'm not gonna lie um but yeah i'm just gonna finish working on this white as you can see it's looking a little bit lumpier than what the other poly gel applications was looking like it's just getting a little bit warmer which makes it softer like i mentioned but yeah, i'm just gonna go ahead and finish up these nails and i will be right back so i felt like the ring finger was enough of the white application since that wasn't really the focus of this video um i did go ahead and do my thumb off camera which was just a full solid white color just like my ring and i'm gonna be filing these nails a little bit on camera so i'm taking a lint free wipe and i'm wiping off that tacky layer you always want to wipe off the tacky layer because the poly gel does leave a sticky surface so before any filing with the hand file or e-file make sure to wipe them down with ice purple alcohol as always i go in and start with my hand file this is the 8080 grit from panna you can find these linked in my amazon storefront which will be always linked down below um these are my favorite files they get the job done so much faster but be careful because these are like a rougher grit so be careful when you are filing if you don't want to file too much always make sure like double check before you just go in and file 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 so yeah, i go underneath the nail and just kind of reshape it and then i go over the surface i also go around the cuticle area a little bit with the file first especially when i'm filing poly gel because poly gel is just so much more easier to file um, and then once I finish all of that, getting it smoothed and debulked, I do go back over it with my e-file and just go over the surface just a little bit more. And then of course, seal in those cuticles a little bit, get underneath the nail, the parts where I didn't file. And yeah, just sit back and enjoy the rest of this filing. Okay, so here are what the nails look like after filing and then I also used the um, cuticle oil buffing method as you just saw I did apply some cuticle oil and buff over the nails and I love the way these nails are looking um, I don't know what this is like around 
my ring finger no actually i think it was because when filing this nail did pop off i did have to reapply it with like some nail glue and once i went to go wash my hands i kind of think like these spilled nail glue and the water just kind of mixed together now that i like think about that i have noticed like that's what always happens when like I try to reapply my nails and go wash my hands like the water and the glue just don't really mix and turns it white. Hopefully you can't really see that once I add my cuticle oil. But yeah, moving on to the nail charms. I do want to add some charms just because I didn't know what else to do to make this nail set um, like pop. I could have used like the purple gel polish and did something on the white. But I feel like if I did do that, it would probably be more of like a swirly line. And I didn't want to do like the simple swirl nail design. So I had to go with some charms. And these charms are from Secret Nail Affair. I got them in like their TikTok live scoops things. Those are so interesting to watch because like you don't really know what you're gonna get they basically just like scoop it up on how many you buy and i got all of these charms and then i also got a free mermaid case but to apply the charms i'm using my favorite mccart rhinestone glue and i'm just putting a little bit where i want it to be and placing on my charms um at first i didn't really like that big one like the big rhinestone heart i placed but once i added the little butterfly like right where the nail started to get narrow i feel like that was very cute so i went ahead and cured that and now i'm just adding some top coat the top coat i'm using is from secret nail affair as well um i do like this secret nail affair top coat it's so like it just feels like the perfect consistency and it's so smooth it goes on so well super shiny before i cured this nail with the top coat i did feel like i needed more on here so i pulled out these light purple rhinestones and then i just added three and like the um spots just to kind of fill it in and i really loved how it looked like the butterfly and the rhinestones was definitely my definitely my favorite i think the reason why i went with like the big heart charm that i first added because i wanted like the outline part to be tied into the disco collection i wanted it to be very blinky which is why i went for that one and i didn't even notice it was like missing a rhinestone from the top that's okay um i did go ahead and do my thumb off camera and since i didn't really have like matching rhinestones i did end up having to add different ones and this is what it looks like i don't really feel like this came out to be like a really disco type nail design more so like very cute and aesthetic which i'm not mad at because those charms were so adorable and now for the part i've been waiting for since i started to apply this poly gel was like the top coat application just look at how the poly gel is starting to sparkle and as my hand get closer to the camera it makes the nails go out of focus and that's like my favorite part to really see like those different color rainbow reflectives in it it just amazes me like how is this put into a poly gel like it's just so so pretty but I'm just going to go ahead and finish adding on this top coat to the nails. I'm going to add some cuticle oil and I'll be back in a few seconds to show you guys what the finished nails look like. And after rubbing in my cuticle oil, this is what the nails look like. I'm so happy that these turned out like this because like I was just so in love with this glitter. This whole entire collection was just so pretty. And when I tell you guys after I unboxed it and swatched everything, I didn't know what to do just because I wanted to use like every single color. And remember I said like I was like this was my third attempt at trying stuff i wanted to use all of those colors but nothing was really working out for me so if you have this new disco collection from a car i know how hard it is to pick a favorite color or a color to use and just look at how these out of focus shots are those are my favorite when it comes to like reflect reflective glitters um but yeah this is how the nails turned out like i said i did something very simple comment down below what else i should do with the gel polishes um if you stay to the end i want to say thank you so so much i really do miss you guys comment down below what you thought of this nail set and as always don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video